All right, we're back again, and these walk, walk, walks have been filling up my freaking screen for the last like a minute, like three minutes. So that walk, 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 walk. All right, I got them all great, So looks like I have to wait for the four walks before I can get to work. And until then, it's going to be very annoying to find these crates. And of course, Ollie M is going to be pissed at me. Because, you know, I'm just going to be stealing his magic carpet route with the power of the Ring of Charas. So, looks like I'll have to get used to not being able to have Ollie M enjoyably let me play games of Rundoku with his chests. So, anyway, let's talk to Ava and see if you know, she'll do anything about it. Um, okay, it's loiter. I found the great. The list is a great success. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Eva. You've been very helpful. It was just another great from you. Eva, hey, stop catching everyone as they're plunging in exhaustible flowery prose. What? Can I get the crate back, please? Or talk about the Eva's order. Well, I'll detect her. Shoot. Okay, I guess there's nothing else I can really get from her, so let's just be pro and go straight to Al Karid using a glory amulet. Or we can go to Varok and go straight to the Narda area, or hmm, I want to go to the Caridian Desert Fairy Ring spots. Or if I should just go to Al Karid. I think maybe going to Al Karid will just be a better idea because, you know, I can just run straight from Al Karid down to the other spot that I'm looking for. And so let's grab this thing. Al-Karid, teleport, and load, and then run. Oh uh, boy, another painful slog through the desert. I don't like desert quests, ever. It's like this whole setting of desert quests is what bothers me. I know, I think, I'm pretty sure I talked about in that earlier. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm rock crazy speaking today. I know that I've probably talked about in the earlier quests as well, but it's just so much of a thing that I have. I mean, like, no matter what game it is, I just never really like desert situations. It's one of the things, like, I didn't like about Borderlands. I mean, Borderlands was a great game, no doubt. But I just... I just thought that it was just, you know... Fuck it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna care. Okay, I'm just going to keep running through here. Okay, let's see if the buck buck machine will be able to do be able to do its job. I've got a spade, and I've got a bit too much space in my. I don't have enough space in my inventory, probably. So if it's uh, somewhere between the Bedouin camp and the other slave camp thing that my headset is getting out of place for, then I'll just have to go around to the west. And it should be somewhere around there. And I get to fight I get to fight a sandstorm or something, I'll bet. Not really, obviously, but still. Okay. Walk. Walk. Very tiresome work. Okay, looks like I have to go in the other direction. That's in the right direction. And just more double blocks. More triple. And wait around and just... That's not right. Hmm. More two spots. Hmm. That's not right. How hard can it be to find a single spot on the fucking map? There we go. I'm not a crate, no bonnet. Crazy, you see we go on the bottom. Well, I haven't seen yours anymore. You just got the crate. Great. So I've just got to find a crate, you know, that exists. 
Well, time to use the alerter more. Searching for books. Here we go. Book time. Book. All right, getting closer. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Nope, that's not right. Book. Book. Let's get to the double block zone again. I guess this direction is not the right direction to go. I have to go east. Man. This quest really likes the annoying puzzles and annoying processes and stuff, doesn't it? Nope, that's not right again. Hmm. More books. Double blocks. All right, found some triple blocks. More triples. That's a double. More triples. There we go. Oh, perfect. Fucking scarab. Really? So because apparently scarabs have metal. Apparently, scarabs have like metal things that obviously have the exact same magnetic signature as crates. Which, you know, that just makes perfect sense. Okay, open it. Gems, I describe the crate. Oh boy, gems. That's definitely useful right now. There are five crates in total. Right, that's two crates so far found. And I'm gonna run out of space if I don't get rid of some stuff. Single bucks. Oh, we got some bucks. I, I, I don't know. No. That's a double bucks, though. No more double bucks. Come on. Jeez. Nope, that's single buck. That's double buck. More double. More double. It's all around here, it's all around here, it's all around here. It's right. Okay, here's a triple block zone. That's the wrong way. That's the right way so far. This is the triple blocks. More triples. Here we go. Okay, no bonnet. Water skin, if you noted water skins, you describe the crate. Four and four. Okay, so they're actually useful. Gonna, you know, find anything that's not just random stuff, and, you know, actually get to start up a carpet group. Ah. So I'm combing the fucking desert for crates. Combing the damn desert. Like, this is like one of the things I hate most about desert style quests. Just the fact that it's just all sand and nothing else. Here we go. Another block zone. Nope, nope, no, no, no. It's up here. Alright, found the block zone. More single blocks. Single. 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 What kind of a zone does this thing have? Okay, now I'm out of it completely. Yeah, boy. Okay, into the doubles. More doubles. Triples, alright, I'm getting close. Hmm. That's not right. Come on. Nope, that's not right either. More triple blocks. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's there, that's the spot. Shoving, dig, and another scarab comes out. And I killed the scarab with relative extreme ease. 
Okay, the concept is great. Perfect. So, how about I just wield these arrows? Okay, and open it. More gems. Perfect. Like, I really need those gems right now. Okay, I can't... Hmm. Well, might as well just drop these two gems here. I don't need a sapphire. I don't... Oh, blah, 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 blah. I don't need a sapphire. Oh, I'm already in a block zone. Awesome. Double block. More double block. And single block. Double block. 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 And a signpost that... Oh, okay, I didn't... Stumble upon for the win. I stumble upon a convenient spot. And that's not right. There's a triple block zone. Here we go. Open it. Finally. Fine. It took long enough to find the lost card, but take a card. It's like the wise monkeys, the monkey colony. And the monkey colony from here is. Right, straight south, approximately. Uh, it's a little bit west, but mostly south. <sighs> I cannot wait until this quest is over with. I mean, I, uh, why am I having it? Why is there another random mark spot? I am not trying to mark spots on my map. Damn it. Okay. I managed to screw some magic rocks for you. It wasn't easy. Not a bad job. Okay, so we create a colony that. Okay. I put in the carbon network. All's good now? Yes, yes, you may be in a treasure swamp here to see this pile of rocks. Hey, the rubble is great deal of importance. Well, huh? Let's check a look. I must be sarcastic, Nimwats. No one's going to come and see a bunch of rocks. No tourists, no money, no money, no bananas, no bananas, no monkeys. You was our prisoners are out of the way and hands you a book. All I've got to do is written in here. It was our nods. Okay. Economy building for dummies. Perfect. When establishing a new colony, ensure first and foremost you have the foundations of a strong economy. The following steps guarantee a quick and easy economic expansion. Build three stalls from teak and cloth, combining any rubble debris that may cause unstable foundations of the spade. Two teak planks and two bundles of cloth should make a sturdy stall, and you'll just need a saw and a hammer in order to construct it. Fill the one stall with colored uncut rocks as humans prize these highly. One uncut sapphire, one emerald, one cut emerald, one uncut ruby, and one cut diamond. Luckily, I have I have both those in my bank, so the ones that I drop shouldn't be a problem. Fill the stall with at least ten bananas, as every every monkey likes a banana. Fill this final stall with general goods, a very important climate. For example, if it's a desert, three full water screens, three knives, and one full set of desert robes to protect the locals. Finally, build a tent. I'm sure you can meet it using from four bolts of cloth and a coil of rope. You'll need a hammer and a knife to assemble it. It all sounds like so much work. Convince a well-meaning human to do it for you. <laughs> Captain. Am um, I done? Here's our looks around. Here's just a sad alley. So at least I can clear the rubble while I'm here. And you know, we'll just clear all this rubble before my video time runs out. And then once I get this done, I will home teleport, and then I'll also take care, you know, the banking that I'll need to do. But while I'm outside the video, just so I don't spend my time in the desert using up charges on my water thing. I'm just going to get the materials that, you know, are required of me during this time, getting teak planks and bolts of cloth, which I don't like getting, but it's all I have to do, so I will just simply home teleport to Edgeville, which is actually very useful right now, and I'll see you guys in my next video, so see you then.